Hey guys, welcome to your Twin Flame reading, bonus Twin Flame reading for Sagittarius. This is going to be for your April 2024. You apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. We are going to take a look and see how your Twin Flame journey is going with your Twin Flame. And then we'll finish off the read to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on. Apply this to your own unique situations. You may switch the roles if you want. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective um, Sagittarius people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, um, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post, when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok, Instagram, my other YouTube channel that's dedicated solely to my travels, the links for those are in the description box below. Support me on there too. So, Sagittarius. How is Sagittarius' twin flame go uh, journey going with their twin flame? How is Sagittarius' twin flame journey going with their twin flame for April 2024? The rest of April 2024. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Sagittarius. For Sagittarius... We have the Eight of Wands here, Sagittarius energy, Eight of Wands, okay. We have the uh, Five of Pentacles here. It could be a situation that someone here is reaching out to somebody here because someone here is feeling lonely without somebody. With the King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. We have the High Priestess, Cancer, Pisces here. Page of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. And the King of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. I do feel like someone here is about to reach out to you here because I feel like you've been in no communication with this person for a while here. Seems like they want to get something off their chest. Could be dealing with a Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Cancer, Pisces. What else do we have here for Sagittarius? Tell, tell me the King of Swords here. Why is the King of Swords here? King of Swords and the Ten of Swords. There was definitely an ending here. Two of Swords in the... A page of pentacles so what we have here is i feel like this person is trying to figure out how to come back towards you <coughs> i feel like they're trying to make a decision on how to come back around towards you and even what to say because whoever this is i feel like this person is definitely preparing some sort of speech here okay either to apologize or to even win you back here the high priestess and the five of swords. i feel like some here definitely wants to win you back with the five of swords here but sometimes that Five of Swords also is about, you know, defeat, coming up empty-handed, short-handed here. So, you know, it could be a situation that they're trying to win you back and you don't want them. And they could be feeling defeated. We have the uh, King, of, uh, King of Pentacles. Why is the King of Pentacles here? The King of Pentacles and the Six of Cups. This person's missing you a lot here, Sagittarius. This person's missing you a lot. So, you know, I do feel like there is reconciliation energy here. The Seven of Swords and the Five of Pentacles. Wow. Um... Here's the thing. My concern with this individual is here is I feel like this person has a tendency to lie. Okay, so if they're trying to win you back, I feel like they're doing they're gonna do it by the way of manipulation here, not like you know letting it naturally unfold. You know, I feel like this person's gonna convince you. I do feel like this person's gonna try and change your mind or something like that. And that's not how it works. You know, people will come back to you on their own free will here. You don't have to force it. And I feel like what this person's going to do is this person's going to force it, okay? The Eight of Wands here. Why is the Eight of Wands here? The Eight of Wands. The Eight of Wands. Okay, and the Queen of Swords. We have the King to the Queen of Swords here. That's a true pair. Seven of Cups and the Lovers and the Queen of Pentacles here. I mean, you guys are true, true twin flames here. I mean, I mean that Lovers card is soulmate energy, but we're talking about twin flames here. But, you know, I just feel like there's a major imbalance here between you and your person. There's a lot of stress and anxiety here. Just walking on eggshells. Uh, what else do we have here for Sagittarius when it comes to their twin flame journey? What else does Sagittarius need to know, look out for, work on for April 2024? For the rest of April 2024, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. So we have the Four of Pentacles. The Chariot, Cancer Energy. We have the Two of Pentacles. We have the Knight of Cups. We have the Four of Cups. 
and the Ace of Pentacles. I mean, we have some here that's definitely look at coming back around, looking for a new beginning here. It seems like they're really holding on to hope that you will have uh, you will communicate with them or just give them an opportunity to speak here, uh, because I you know I feel like they have a lot to say. Okay, my only concern is that you know whatever comes out of this person's mouth, you know I, this person like I said tends to lie. Um, instead of just you know letting things naturally unfold and letting you come back on your own free will. I mean, this person is trying to convince you to do that, and that is not really a great thing uh, because this person shows that they have control issues. Um, uh, and when they lose control of you, this person could go bananas or go nuts. We have the Ace of Pentacles. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here and the Nine of Pentacles? I mean, Sagittarius, you could be moving towards a new beginning here. I mean, you could be rejecting this person's communication and offer with the Seven of Pentacles. You're like, this is a complete waste of time. You know, I am not going to feed into your poison here, okay? I'm not going to drink from your cup um, because he, uh, this, this person is coming in as a, 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 I mean, this king is coming in as a knight of cups here. Trying to get you to drink their cup. We have the ten of cups. This person definitely has a strong offer here, but I feel like there's been so much pain and so much hurt that, you know, you have blocked yourself or that you've, you, you've, uh, you're kind of like in this, uh, like very guarded energy at this time. We have the Seven of Wands, we have the Empress, Libra, Taurus, we have the uh, Queen of Wands, and we have the Nine of Wands. You're coming to a realization that you can't manifest with this individual here. It's just way too much work, you know? Sometimes, you know, in certain situations, you know, especially in relationships, things should happen very effortlessly, but it's just too much effort, yeah? So we have the Hermit, Virgo energy. I see, I see you distancing yourself from this romantic relationship and turning your back away from it. You have nothing more to give. You've given enough here. You try to work things out with this person, but I feel like nothing really came of it here. Yeah, it seems like um, Sagittarius, I feel like you're dropping the situation or that you're dropping this person here. Emotionally, you just can't invest in it. Yeah, I do feel like with the King of Wands here and the Magician, I do feel like this person will try and manipulate you, will try, will try and gaslight you back to get you back here. Um, I do feel like this person's definitely tra trying to charm the socks off you, trying to win you back. But I really don't feel like it's going to work. I do feel like this person has a tendency to operate in the ego. And I feel like this person doesn't even realize that they love a lot of attention here from other people. Maybe that was one of the issues here too. So yeah, so Sagittarius, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe. Hit the notification bell and I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks guys. Bye.